Great for the guys that have 4K stacks. They look down at day seven, they're like, whoopee! Poker Night in America brought to you by Kimo Sabi Mezcal. Action on Greg Mueller. I think Greg's the best at getting it. A. Seven deuce. He folds. Merson folds his big blind. And so now we're up to Phil Helmuth in the straddle with the last option here to call. Eight. I'll take this one, Liv. You take the next one. Man, Phil's been saying this since the big game, at least. Taking turns. Quite the rail building out there, but honestly, it looks more like right people now. are trying to come in from the rain than poker fans. No, a little more than that, I think I have. I think I have five left. So Liv Marie calls. Lobs 10, Jack King, no, brought to you by Kimo Sabi Mezcal. Has a better chance of having Phil does it. not continue this flop, which I don't understand with his stack behind. He should be looking to build a pot. Jack, check. Here comes the turn. <laughs> You've got to be kidding me. Phil was looking for Liv to bluff this, but that is simply not going to happen anymore. This is amazing. Phil thinks he's trapping. I guess I call just aces. Check. Phil checks on the river. Phil's played this hand more like he's got queens or a jack in his hand than aces, so Liv's gonna size her value bet for a hand like that. Very nice sizing from Liv. There's the call from Phil, and this is what you get when you check the flop. Where the f do I even play in this game? Are you saying? Huh? Oh, aces. Oh, darn. Unlucky. She somehow makes a set. It's like so unfair. The people at home don't even get it. They don't even know how deep we are. You have to be careful. It doesn't matter. I still lose. The public doesn't know what we're talking about. Just look at her laughing. She knows I got her dead on. She was you really gave lots of viewers. <laughs> that two hour was like more valuable than in a regular cash game where huh. thank you, you win the hand where you would have lost it. You I'm actually create a YouTube moment for people in the future. This was the like, first time <laughs> I've ever been on the receiving end of one of his rants, so for me, it was just a big life shit, like, tick box. Oh I, I'm extremely satisfied with nice, having yeah. that. It feels so good. Right, doesn't it? So good. I was like, oh, keep yelling. Come on, Paul. Hey, you're going to love the second one more than the first one, and the third one more than the second and first, and you're going to look forward to them. You're going to be like this. <laughs> Give me helmet at my table. I just, you know, I don't even care. I want to suck out of it. Yeah. Oh, come on. I, I, no.